something for you to think about this week as you go through your week and see if you can potentially reduce negative thoughts about yourself for the whole week and it is possible so the reason I want to talk about this is I know that when we have lots of negative thoughts about ourselves it makes it really difficult for us to accept ourselves and even love ourselves and we know the benefits of loving ourselves and accepting ourselves is is more happiness more courage more confidence more time to focus on the things that really matter um, and so it's also a lot less pain like having ne constant negative thoughts all the time is really really damaging for ourselves and our self-esteem so I just wanted to talk a little bit about why we have negative thoughts why we have so many negative thoughts and then also um, what you can do to reduce those negative thoughts that you might be having about yourself so we have between 12,000 and 60,000 thoughts in any given day it's a lot right um, and up to 80% of those thoughts are negative so they might not just be negative about ourselves but they might be negative about things that are going on in the world um, but a lot of those are negative thoughts about ourselves and then 95% of the thoughts that we think every day are repetitive so we have them multiple times in one day but we also have them day after day after day and when we're having those kind of negative thoughts regularly we start to believe that they're true because if we're thinking them and we're thinking them a lot then it must be true and so those negative thoughts really play on our levels of self-satisfaction our levels of self-worth our confidence all those important things and um, the, it's, a, it's a really interesting reason why we have lots of negative thoughts and that's from an evolutionary standpoint we were constantly looking out for negative things or things that might put us in danger to keep us safe so there's a reason for that but unfortunately we're not in those same that same world anymore and we're not sort of constantly being you know stalked by tribes of people or um, animals that are going to kill us but we are constantly surrounded by media and social media and all those things which are constantly feeding our thoughts and telling us that the world's a terrible place and that we're a terrible person and so no wonder so many of us feel um, that we don't have any confidence are always beating ourselves up always saying bad things about ourselves and not putting ourselves out there to do the things that we really want to do so I just want to talk about a little hack and it takes just a few minutes a day that can really change the way we think about ourselves and really change that pattern of negative self-talk that we most of us have and I'm not saying that you'll get rid of it forever because that's we're hardwired to have the negative thoughts but I want you to start to become aware of the thoughts that you're having and also see that you can um, change them and not have them as much as you have been having them so far so what I want you to start doing is looking for evidence that your negative thoughts are wrong so I, the first thing you really need to do is start to like focus on what are the negative thoughts that I have and most people it sort of comes down to one thing which is um, I am unlovable or I'm not good enough or I always stuff things up um, so that kind of thing is what our negative thoughts are so it might be that something has happened you know out in the world that makes us feel bad but if we get down to the to the hub of the negative thoughts it's something like I'm not good enough I always stuff things up I'm not as good as everybody else I'm not lovable so think about what those negative thoughts that you have are and I know that can be a little bit painful but the only way we're going to change the way we think about ourselves is to notice it and to make a difference and to change that so notice what that negative thought is so for me quite often it's I'm not good enough that's what usually comes up for me if, if something's gone wrong in my life or if I'm not doing enough self-care or if I'm really tired or that kind of thing I start to think oh, I'm just not good I'm, I'm not good at stuff I'm always stuffing up so I'm not good enough and then I want to start to find evidence to prove that that's wrong so even if I've made a mistake or I've hurt someone or I've done something that I'm not proud of and that brings up those feelings of I'm not good enough maybe I'm not good enough in that particular moment in time but there's lots of other ways that I have been good enough 
Do you, so you start to prove to yourself that you are good enough. So maybe if you stuff something up at work, you can start to go, but I am good enough because I have an amazing family or I am good enough because I did finish high school or I am good enough because um, I had enough money to buy gifts to my family over Christmas and start to find even small little things that really start to prove that you are good enough or that you are lovable. So what I've done is I used to do a daily journal, which was a gratitude journal to try and really change those mindsets of like nothing ever goes right for me. So I wanted to start to be grateful about what was going on in my life. But I have changed that recently. So I like to use a passion planner, but you can use any kind of diary or any, you can even write it down as a list, the things to prove that there's evidence to prove that you are good enough. And instead of writing things that I'm grateful for, I now write down every day something that I've done that's helped me have a great experience. So let me give you some examples. So I wrote one day that I teach a fabulous yoga class because my students tell me that they love my, my yoga classes. Um, I wrote, I am proud of my resilience and calm under pressure today. So I'm not saying that nothing bad goes wrong, but I'm proud of the fact that I'm resilient and I continue to keep going even if I've had a bad day or a bad few days. I am kind. I'm looking after a friend's dog and I'm being there for a friend. So noticing that I'm a kind person. Um, I can be super productive. I got lots of jobs done today. So sometimes we tell ourselves how lazy we are, but notice that there are definitely days when you're really, really productive. What I found that I love to do though, is to put it into this kind of format so that I can show, I can see the colors. I can see something every single day. I can use my stickers and have fun with my diary, but it also means that every month I can see at least 30 things, unless it's February, 30 things that I'm proud of, 30 little pieces of evidence that I am good enough. Every single day I've done something that makes me good enough. So I highly recommend that you try this out for yourself. Start to notice and, and gather evidence that you are good enough, because you are. Now what it, ha what it means to be um, self-accepting is to know that we are good at some things and we are not so good at other things. So you will make mistakes and you will feel negative about yourself when you make mistakes because that's human. But what you can do is start to look through your diary or look through your journal where you've written down your evidence and start to go, you know, even if I did stuff that thing up, I am still a good person because look at all these other amazing things that I've done. So I'd love to know what you think in the comments if you think this is something you can try or if you've got any more questions and let me know how you go. I'd love to see if you've tried this out for yourself. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.